At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. No. Safe we are, still. Drink now. Bless you, Richard! This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait. I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. 
What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. Oh, my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Oh, you leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Yes, I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet. 
Always alone. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone. Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it, brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered something in the deep. Darkness, quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. And it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... it whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us, spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live. Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most Skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most Skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon. But it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. <laughs> 
What is a Skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. Ascalon <sighs> has stalked us for ages upon ages. for your protection, Master. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. 
Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. So you have the run of the place, and no one's taken notice. As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Let's simply agree that all are one and the same. In death, I mean. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I have come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. I believe you, Sean. In fact, I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Keep to the light my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood.
Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there.
I can't believe I'm doing this. This is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. This is not a place for you, sir. Some of this! Uh. 